Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Mon PJC and I'm here in one of my mini Minecraft uh, rooms here today but I've actually got a really special different video that I want to show you today some of the stuff that I've actually been doing over the last couple of months because you may have noticed I've not been around that much so the reason for that is been very busy lots of things to do but I've still been recording. So this first video I'm going to show you is going to be a fight with the Ender Dragon, which includes Halo Phoenix coming along to help me. You've got to wait until you see the beginning of this. It is so funny. And we had such a scream doing this. Uh, it's only like five minutes long, this bit of video, but it took us about four hours to capture all the stuff that we wanted and stuff. Um, I then got a video of a bit of the, a tour of this world and everything that I've actually got in it on my server and then right at the end there's me going over to the let's play minecraft together server which is run by Exumacraft. Uh, Exumacraft? Exumavoid. I've got his name wrong and I've been asked by one of the players on there to go and clear out a forest so that was some of the video footage from that so I hope you enjoy please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video well I'm actually going to see you in the next 15 20 minutes all over my video but you know what a bit i'm just gonna stop now and you watch the rest bye right are you ready yes yes <laughs> like this yes <laughs> <laughs> oh my god look there's pink <laughs> <laughs> can i start now yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Mon PJC, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play. And I have been joined here by Halo Phoenix. Hi Halo! Oh no. Oh yep, yeah, I'm waving. It's good. Yeah, you're Hello, waving. Everyone. Not punching oh. me. Wait, 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 wait. With your sword. Hi. And we've kitted Halo out in diamonds. Look at my bling. <laughs> yep. Because we've got some serious battle stuff to do today. Right, ready? Okay, right. So when we get there, the whole place is going to be surrounded by Endermen. Got it. Don't look them in the eye. Yeah, don't look at the Endermans in the face. Yeah, I failed at that. Because they get pretty <gasps> miffed. I'm lost. Oh I'm my lost. God, did you just fall down there? I fell. Oh, for goodness sake, and I'm like taking you to the end. I think I found the end. If you got some earth, you can like pillar up. Why is something laughing at me? That's a witch. Uh, uh, I'm scared. Hold on, wait. It's go uh, It's doing the whole. Uh, I know. Um, I have a bit of a problem. Oh. Uh, <laughs> You're not supposed to dig out the block I'm standing on. <laughs> look, it's, it looked good. Wait, wait, wait. Oh wait. my I god. I can fix this. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, I can't. I can fix this. Look. Woohoo! I'm up. There we go. Right, Let's stand go. to the side. I want to see a witch. Come on, fly. Fly. And I'll get you. As soon as you take off. It's gone. It's flown out of view. There's going to be a massive explosion when this goes. Come on. Come on. I see one more hit. any luck it's going to take off and I'll get it. Here we go. Oh, it's like a disco. <laughs> <laughs> At last. Bing. So if I put the piston down like that okay. and then I get a lever 
on top. Now, like or like that on the side, it won't go on top. And if I click this, it should, Pretty. bing, popped it off. Uh, so I can now. Oh, there's two. Oh look, in my hand here. Oh. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh, stupid Enderman. Which one is it? I killed him. Thank you. Hey. Stupid thing. All right, so I can give one to you. Thanks. What do I do with it? Uh, it's a prize for fighting the Ender Dragon. That it. Yeah, right. So get a, um, we're going to leap through this little hole. So, yeah, stand back. Stand back. Because I've got to do that. Can you take your big ender dragon head off? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Is that better? I can see it's just massive dragon head right. in front of me. So what we should be able to do oh, is holding an ender pearl and okay. click on that portal. And it throws the ender pearl through it and we'll go through it with it. Like this, and I vanished. Nope. So if you I left click. Didn't vanish. I threw it and I didn't vanish. I'm not looking up, by the way. That's all right, there's no Enderman over here. There is, there is some over there. Through this coral's field. You can't see it yet, can you? It does nope. look pretty cool on this, on this game. Oh, wow, I can see it on your screen. How come you're going so quick? Um, I probably pressed the the other key so I can run the uh, oh, there it is. control key and it. so this is an end city oh. oh no the things they fire at you can hit with arrows by the way I'm going to let that one hit me so I can go up here oh my god there's loads of them There's hundreds of them things up here. I could die as a result of this. I'm now on fire. Right, come on in. Let's get this game over with. You are about to see the. Four hours later. You're about to see the end titles of the game. The end titles. The end titles of the game. Right. Are you ready? Can we come back? Because I think it's quite cool. Yeah, we can come back here loads of times. Oh, she's gone. So, thanks for very much for for everyone watching. <laughs> Halo Phoenix is gone, has already started the titles, oh and now I'll leap, leap through, <laughs> and you can see, and I'll let the screen run, and you can see what actually happens. No, Thanks everyone, so bye! bye. bye. <laughs> I started, uh, I got some mushrooms, and some bits and pieces, and there's a little bit of a path going out here, which takes me out to there is a cow in the tree. Mm. What the heck are you doing? Hang on, I've got to take a screenshot of that. That might have to be the stream picture. Nice. A uh, pigman up here. Is he friendly? Hello. He seems friendly. And a tiny little bit of XP. Dink. Thank you very much. That's mainly because this is big pole and you probably guessed it, there is a gold mine at the top here. So let's go check it out. This is one that I've seen used on Hermitcraft and you can see it starting to come into view there. That looks pretty awesome. And also it's been put together by Il Mango. So this is a cut down version of the design. If you look very carefully off to the right there, you'll see iron golems. Just having a slurp on my tea or my coffee. And I'm actually going off the edge here. <laughs> uh, don't try to drive with only one hand. 
and there is a random pigman there. That's not good. Why are you there? Hmm. Room so we can see out with loads of pigment. And if I climb up the roof here, we can actually got duck to get through that gap. We can actually see that the pigmen spawn out there on those blocks. We've lost one of the iron golems, he fell off. Um, which is a bit unfortunate. But the zombie pigmen all spawn out there, and then when they get angry, normal mechanics means they come charging over here to attack me. And the idea is, is that from in here, they can get me. Now, this uses entity cramming. So these hopper, uh, or these minecarts that are located here, it's actually 24 in one space. If there was any more entities in that area, it would suffer from suffocation. So as soon as a pigman falls in there, he dies. And because he's died and he's within range of his friends, they get angry and they all come charging over as well. So we can kick this off by firing a bow through here like so. And you can hear zombies, pigmen all coming charging towards me from different angles. Okay, path by into the hole. My goodness, that's noisy. And then through this labyrinth, we go upstairs, round this corner, into this massive chamber, where you can see there is a skeleton. And this skeleton is to represent the end dragon, or at least one of the end dragons. And I've got these little areas which tell us about uh, the great battle that took place between the villagers and uh, there's a story on the wall and the end dragon which is laying dead above us or its skeleton. Um, this is a chamber used to change villagers back when they got converted into zombies. So it's a bit of a torture chamber, a little bit scary. That water looks disgusting. So there's all this in here. There's um, this book area which I've left pristine. It's all blocked off. Uh, and then we've obviously got the, the skull. And the skull is original. This was originally here in the game when I was digging through. I've got it on these iron bars which looks quite, quite, quite cool, quite making it hold up. Um, and then these ones on the side. But the back of this was largely missing, so I've rebuilt it and also built a tail on the back of it, which you can see from upstairs as well. Now around the corner here, you can actually put a glass floor in so you can actually see through into the end portal, which has been completed. Down here, we've got some little captured mobs. So we've got a little baby zombie who's stuck in there. Um, there's some more very unhappy villagers and a normal zombie in there. And this red lighting was really good at making the caves or these tunnel ways look a lot darker than they really are. As you can see. So this goes around in a complete circle. Little areas where stuff can spawn. And because, yeah, this is back in here. So this goes through here and then down and then we can see more ender items or end items and then we come through here and here is our end portal and I've left some of these blocks were missing so I sort of like put glass in to sort of represent where stuff would be normally in place it's quite good because you can get spiders and different stuff rolling around and I added these lights in sorry I'm moving the mouse around a bit too much put these lava lights in which just help light the floor left this lava here as well so the the spawn is gone and that's the end there is nothing in the end it's no different any different than anywhere else and then in here we've got this massive caged off area which is like do not pass it's too dangerous the dead walk these halls kept so it actually has this little wooden drawbridge here and these are the controls for bringing the bridge up and down if only they worked in real life um, but from up here our guards would have a really good view 
of the surrounding area out into the distance. So they walk along here. Again, I've brought in a bit more of the bone white and stuff. This would be so good in 1.14 when I can change out these torches for proper lamps. So again, very formidable, big keep. And we come in the main doors and we're met by Dave. Yep, I call this guy Dave. So he's a guard protecting the hallway. But then in here, we've got this sleeping quarters area for our guards. And this guy is one of our guards. He's in, uh, in an armor stand here. You can see he's got his tools, he's got his wardrobe. They've got their tools on the wall. These um, trap doors work really well to make them look like frames. And we've got another unit there, all their armors on display. And then if they come around the back here, they can go around in a circle. But this is the, the dining area for all the guards. So again, we've got cookers and different bits and pieces. We've got water, food out. We've got some pictures, some nice lighting. Um, these guys are all like in deep conversation. There's a music box, banners. So this is very much all for the guards down here. So um, this is where they would come back into the keep. And see, look, we've got pictures like the bed, this is the bedroom, so to speak. This is the canteen. Now, if we go upstairs, we come to this area, which is where Dave's mate is, or his twin. This is the main room for the boss man. So it's protected by an archer in the area. And in here, we've got guards standing to attention. And here is the boss man. He's the man in charge of the whole area with his uh, table. And he's got this very large. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Very large throne area up here. Oh, dear. And there's some little back doors here, which are just going to be some little halls. And I wanted to sort of make them a bit like prep areas for where. Because I noticed when visiting castles and that, these. Uh, important people don't get ready in a main room they have these little side rooms they'd go into so like this one here they'd pop into the side room and they'd get themselves ready and stuff I think there's a chest under here yeah so yeah that's all of that there's a trap door there so you can get up here and join in good view from there take out any baddies thanks Dave's twin and then the stairs go up a bit further and go out onto the roof which again you can get a really nice view from up here of the surrounding area there you go right. she's uh, very rude there we go hi hi everyone and welcome to the let's play minecraft server and today I'm doing a bit of a stream and just seeing what's going on and I'm going to be heading off to a jungle uh, first of all I'm just going to tell everyone what I'm actually doing just um, so let's go back here so apparently it's some sort of ah there we go there is a jungle Let's play Minecraft together, Zoo. Yay! I found it. Uh, why me? I don't care. Right, my boat. Where's I going to put my boat? I'm going to put my boat in there. Right. Was there any other messages? PB Inc. I don't know who the heck PB Inc. is. I've been sent here to do a job. What's in there? More boats. I'm keeping mine. Thanks very much. Right. Um, did you know there are 22 common spawns for twin tropical fish? But the coding allows there to be 2,700 variants of unique tropical fish. That's a lot of fish. That is a lot of fish. Hi, hi, Unwoven there in the post. Uh, yeah, if you could post that for me in the Discord, that'd be awesome because uh, 
I don't know what I'm doing. And am I allowed to eat these? I'm guessing not. Oh, it's another sign. Did you know that pink sheep have a 0.164 natural spawn rate? Really? I didn't know pink sheep could spawn. I've learned something. Did you know puffer fish count as a defense, defensive passive mob? Well, I know they like bite back. Did you know zombies have five species? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, oh, WM fam doesn't know I'm on the way. Did you know the bunny killer is one of four unused mobs? I've never ever seen the bunny, but the bunny mob, the killer one. Did you know before 1.14 you got cats via Tamiya? Yeah, I did know that. I did know that. So I'm going to hop through here and then as... Hmm. Yeah, there's that line there again. Look, there, there's like a massive line through the world here. Where those trees were. It's definitely like some sort of border or something. Probably on a chunk border. Right, looks like it's... There is a pig with a saddle. Hang on a minute. Come here. Seriously? This is a pig with a saddle. How'd you get the saddle off the pig? Really? This this is a thing? I gotta take a picture of this now. Uh piggy. Uh the bit really nice if you'd like hey. Yeah, I might kill him in a minute see if I can get the saddle. I'm gonna try and get a picture. Piggy, I don't look. I don't have a carrot. Looks like you've had a go at the, the whole jumping off things type stuff. Hang on, right? That's it. That's good. that's good. That's good. Wait, wait, wait. That wait, wait there and screenshot. Thank you very much. If, if you can turn round, I get. No, I don't want to picture your butt. Really? Oh, he's going for a walk. Oh, where are we going? Oh no. That'll do nicely, just about there. Thank you very much. Um, now, Piggy. Hello. <laughs> uh, you see what I've got? Um, yeah. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, got a saddle. Look at that. Excellent. Uh, this is Mon PJC's base camp, aka the Grinder. Please feel free to stop by my uh, YouTube channel, which is also Mon PJC Plays Minecraft, uh, Discord, Instagram, Facebook, all that sort of thing, or DM me if you've got any grinding you like to do. Thanks very much, and see you later. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Bye.